Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about introduction of cell and cell theory. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, before the year 1665, people were not aware about cell. That what is cell? There was no any concept of cell before 1665. In 1665 the person Robert Hooke he was the first person he designed light microscope and he made some glass lenses and he designed the light microscope in his own way and he first time observed cork that is the bark from the tree he has taken some bark of a tree and then he observed that cork under microscope and he found the cell exists so he first time found the cell from the cork but it was dead because the cork is dead tissue right so he observed dead cell for the first time under microscope and he published his book that is micrographia it was very famous book at that time he used to observe bark cells under microscope and then he took some images like at that time how did he take images he has drawn he has drawn some pictures and then he published those pictures in a book and that book was named micrographia after that in 1664 the person anton von leeuwenhoek he was the first person who first saw live cell so he basically took some pond water and observed under the microscope and first time he saw algal cell so it was the live cell he first time discovered then in 1831 the person robert brown he discovered nucleus so before that time people understood okay cell like structure is there but before 1831 there was no any concept of nucleus this person first time discovered nucleus in the cell in cell theory we will understand three theories so the first scientist matthias Scladen in 1838 he was german botanist so as he was botanist he observed some plant cells so first time he said that all plants are made up of cells because before this time bark cells were observed by the scientists but this is the first time he saw live cells from plants and concluded that all plants are made up of cells this is the first theory okay then at 1839 swan he was the british zoologist what he did he also concluded cell theory he said that all plants and animals are made up of cells so before that matthias scladeni he said that plants are made up of cells but this time swan said that plants and animals are made up of cells and second thing 
he said that a thin outer membrane is present around the cell so if this is the cell here a thin outer membrane is present so at that time it was not named as plasma membrane but he saw that a thin membrane is present that was actually plasma membrane and one more thing he has concluded he observed that plant cells possess cell wall so he found that along with the thin outer membrane plant cells also contain one more thick membrane outside the cell that is the cell wall so these three observations were done by schwann in 1839 in 1855 radolf virchow said that cells divide cells divide and new cells form from pre existing cells so this is the mother cell this is the pre existing cell and this cell is dividing to generate two daughter cells so all cells generate from the mother cell or pre existing cells he said omnis cellula e cellula that means cells generate from pre existing cells 